Hello and welcome to part 3 of the Introduction to Time series forecasting with Sigma Excel video. I'll be demonstrating exponential smoothing with a seasonal component. If data are seasonal, influenced by seasonal factors, Sigma Excel requires that the seasonal frequency be specified. Frequency is the number of observations per cycle, unit of time, so monthly sales will be specified as seasonal frequency equals 12 observations per year. We expect the sales to be consistently influenced by month. For example, December sales would be higher than those from January. Quarterly revenue would be specified as seasonal frequency equals 4, and hourly data would be 24. Throughout this video, I'll be using a sample data set called Monthly Airline Passengers Series G from Box and Jenkins, which is monthly total international airline passenger data from January 1949 through December 1960, and is one of the most popular data sets used in introductory time series forecasting. Column A is the observation number. Column B is the date. Column C is the monthly airline passengers in thousands. And column D is the natural logarithm, or lawn, of monthly airline passengers. I'll generate a run chart of this time series example for initial exploratory data analysis. To generate a run chart, Click Sigma Excel, Time Series Forecasting, Run Chart. Select Monthly Airline Passengers and click Numeric Data Variable Y. Select Date and click Optional X Axis Labels. Click Show Mean and ensure Non Parametric Runs Test is unchecked. Click OK. A run chart of monthly airline passengers with mean center line is produced. Here we see a strong positive trend as well as a monthly seasonal effect, yearly cycle of 12 months. The monthly maximums occur in the summer months of July and August, while the minimums are in November. Notice there is also an increase in seasonal variance over time. This non-stationarity in the variance can be addressed by using a lawn transformation of the data. Later in this video, I'll demonstrate the use of a Box-Cox transformation to automatically determine the best transformation, but for now, we'll use the lawn of airline passenger data. If we recreate our run chart, but instead use the lawn of airline passengers, we address the change in variance over time. Now we will look at the autocorrelation plots for the airline passenger data. We first introduced autocorrelation in part one of these time series videos. Click the sheet one tab. Click time series forecasting, autocorrelation ACF PACF plots. Select lawn, airline passengers, and click numeric time series data Y. Select automatic number of legs, and specify seasonal frequency equals 12. Alpha level is 0 0.05. Click OK. Here we have an ACF and PACF plot, with an ACF plot that demonstrates a scalloped shape, which is due to the seasonality. The slow decrease in the ACF as the lags increase is due to the trend. Now we'll look at spectral density plots. The spectral density plot is used to identify the dominant integer seasonal frequency in the time series data using spectral analysis with fast Fourier transforms. The algorithm used here is the same as used in the forecast model option to automatically detect seasonal frequency. If the peak frequency is not an integer, it is rounded. The y-axis is spectral density and the x-axis is seasonal frequency. The spectral density plot is also known as a periodogram. To run a spectral density plot, click Sigma Excel, Time Series Forecasting, Spectral Density Plot. Select Lawn of Airline Passengers and click Numeric Time Series Data Y. Click OK. As expected, the detected seasonal frequency for the monthly data is 12. The peak at 6 does not have enough seasonal strength 
to be considered as a second seasonal frequency. As mentioned in the first video of this series, the seasonal trend decomposition plots are useful to visually distinguish trend and seasonal components in the time series data. This time, we'll be specifying a seasonal frequency of 12 for the airline passenger data. I'll also be adding the use of a box Cox transformation to automatically determine the best transformation for this data. For seasonal trend decomposition plots, click Sigma Excel, Time Series Forecasting, Seasonal Trend Decomposition Plots. Select Monthly Airline Passengers and click Numeric Time Series Data Y. Check Seasonal Frequency with Specify equals 12. Because the run chart showed an increase in the seasonal variance over time, check Box Cox Transformation with Rounded Lambda. Click OK. Here we have a seasonal trend decomposition plot for monthly airline passengers. We can see a strong positive trend as well as the monthly seasonal effect. The box Cox transformation information is given in the decomposition summary report to the right of the plot. Seasonal frequency is 12 and lambda equals 0. Note that this is the lambda equals 0 lawn transformed data. The lawn transformed data are displayed to maintain an additive model, which is easier to interpret than a multiplicative model. The smooth trend, seasonal, and remainder plots are also produced. When added together, the results from these three charts will total the values from the original data. A novel use of two-way interaction plots to view trend and seasonal effects in data is given to us by Bisgard and Kalachi. I will use two-way ANOVA to produce interaction charts for the airline passenger data. Note that in order to produce these charts, the data must be balanced. For example, every year must have 12 months of data. Click the month year for interaction plot tab. Month and year columns have been added and calculated using the Excel date functions equals month and equals year. Click Sigma Excel, Statistical Tools, 2A ANOVA. Select Monthly Airline Passengers and click Numeric Data Variable Y. Select Month for Group Category Factor X1 and Year for Group Category Factor X2. Uncheck all other options. Click OK. We will not use the ANOVA report. Scroll down to the interaction plots and resize to view the full legend. In the first interaction plot with month on the x-axis, we can see the monthly seasonal effect as well as how it gets stronger by year. The second interaction plot with year on the x-axis shows the same increasing seasonal effect, but we can also clearly see the strong positive trend by year. Now we'll generate seasonal interaction plots for the lawn of airline passengers. Click Recall Sigma XL dialog menu or press F3. Select the lawn of airline passengers and click Numeric Data Variable Y. Click OK and again scroll down to the interaction plots. Resize to view the full legend. In these interaction plots with the lawn of airline passengers, we can see that the variability due to monthly seasonal effect is consistent and the yearly trend is more linear. Bisgard and Colucci point out that using a traditional interpretation of interaction plots, the similar slopes indicate that the lawn transformation has effectively removed the month by year interaction, so the month and year effect is now additive. Now that we've looked at the data using graphical tools, we'll use exponential smoothing forecast with seasonality. Click Sigma Excel, Time Series Forecasting, Exponential Smoothing Forecast, Forecast. Select Monthly Airline Passengers and click Numeric Time Series Data Y. Select Date and click Optional Time Axis Labels. Check Specify Model Periods and set Withhold Periods to 24. We will forecast 24 months and compare to withheld actual. Check seasonal frequency 
and specify equals 12. Check display ACF, PACF, LB plots, and display residual plots. Check box Cox transformation and select rounded lambda. Select withhold forecast type, multi step ahead with prediction interval at start of withhold. Click model options. The model options dialog allows you to choose between automatic model selection options or to specify a model. Note that the seasonal model options are now available. I will use the default automatic model selection criterion, AICC, for this model. Click OK. The exponential smoothing forecast report is displayed. The blank dots are the data values in the withhold sample, with a multi-step forecast and prediction intervals displayed at the start of withhold sample. Note that the data has been transformed using BoxCox, but the inverse transformation is applied to produce this chart with the original units. The model header can be viewed by scrolling down. The model, additive trend, additive seasonal method with additive errors, Holt Winters, was automatically selected as the best fit for the BoxCox transformed airline passenger data based on the AICC criterion. The header also includes the number of specified withhold periods. The parameter estimates, exponential smoothing model statistics, and forecast accuracy metrics tables are also displayed. The 120 observations used for the in-sample estimation, plus 24 observations for out-of-sample withheld, equals 144 total observations. As expected, the out-of-sample withhold multi-step-ahead forecast errors are larger than the in-sample estimation one-step-ahead forecast errors. Note that if we were primarily interested in a short-term one-step-ahead forecast, then we would have selected withhold forecast type one-step-ahead and this table would show out-of-sample withhold one-step-ahead forecast errors. Forecast accuracy metrics are calculated using the actual raw data as compared to the inverse transformed forecast values. Click the Exponential Smoothing ACF-PACF-LB sheet. The ACF and PACF plots indicate that almost all of the autocorrelation has been accounted for in the model, but the Jung box plot still displays significant autocorrelation. This does not mean that the model is a bad model. It can still be very useful for prediction purposes, but the prediction intervals may not provide accurate coverage. The residuals are approximately normally distributed, with a roughly straight line on the normal probability plot. There are no obvious extreme outliers or patterns in the charts. Note that the residuals are based on the lawn transform data, not the original data. The exponential smoothing model information to the right of the plots show the box Cox transformation information. Now I'll demonstrate exponential smoothing control charts with seasonality. For this example, I'll be using a Sigma Excel sample data set called Monthly Airline Passengers Modified for Control Charts. This data set is based on the same Series G data from previously, with a lawn transformation applied to avoid the need for a box Cox transformation. However, a negative outlier has been added at observation number 50, and a level shift starting at observation 100 has also been included. The additional columns will be referenced in a later video. Earlier, we saw that this process has a strong trend and seasonality. In order to visualize the impact on a control chart, I'll construct an individual's chart on the raw data. Click Sigma Excel, Control Charts, Individuals. Select Lawn Airline Passengers Modified and click Numeric Data Variable Y. Click OK to produce the individual's chart. Clearly, the strong trend, seasonality, and positive autocorrelation make this control chart unusable to detect assignable causes. Select the Sheet 1 tab. Click Sigma Excel, Time Series Forecasting, Exponential Smoothing Control Chart, Control Chart. Select Law and Airline Passengers Modified and click Numeric Time Series Data Y. Check Seasonal Frequency with Specify equals 12. Uncheck Display ACF, PACF, and LB Plots and Display Residual Plots. Leave Specify Model Periods and Box Cox Transformation unchecked. 
Click Model Options. We'll use the default automatic model selection with the AICC as the model selection criterion. Click OK. Now we can clearly see the out of control data points at 50, 51, and 100 on the individuals chart. In order to view the points on the moving limits chart, we will use scrolling. Click Sigma Excel Chart Tools, Enable Scrolling. The scroll dialog appears, allowing you to specify the start subgroup and window width. Change start subgroup to 40 and click OK to zoom in on the first two out of control data points. Observation 50 is lower than expected from the exponential smoothing forecast model, while observation 51 is higher than expected. Now, change start subgroup to 90 and click update to zoom in on the third out of control data point. Observation 100 is higher than expected from the exponential smoothing forecast model. Click cancel to exit the scroll dialog. In a later video, we will further analyze the data to determine if the out of control points are due to a shift or an outlier. This concludes part three of the time series forecasting with Sigma Excel video. For more videos, visit us at www.sigmaxl.com or join us on YouTube. Thank you for watching.